Makar Sankranti is also known as Uttarayan and has its own historical and religious significance in India. It is celebrated in January every year and marks the termination of the winter and the beginning of a new harvest season. It is dedicated to Lord's son. It also refers to a specific solar day in the Hindu calendar. On this auspicious day, the sun enters the zodiac sign of Capricorn or Makar, which marks the end of winter months and the beginning of longer days. From the day of Makar Sankranti, the sun begins his northward journey or Uttarayan journey. Therefore, this festival is also known as Uttarayan. This is one of the few ancient Indian festival that has been observed according to solar cycles while most festivals are set by the lunar cycle. Festivities associated with Makar Sankranti are known by various names Magh Bihu in Assam, Maghi and Lori in Punjab, Haryana, Thai Pongal in Tamil Nadu, Uttarayan in Gujarat etc. Here in Karnataka it is known as Sugi Habba, Makar Sankramana or Makar Sankranti. On this auspicious day, girls wear new clothes to visit near and dear ones with Sankranti offering in a plate and exchange the same with other families. This ritual is called Ellubirodu. Another important ritual is display of cows and bulls in colorful costumes in an open field. Cows are decorated for the occasion and taken on a procession. They are also made to cross a fire. This ritual is common in rural Karnataka and is called Kichuhai Sodu. And that's exactly what we are going to witness today. And to do that, I am heading to a small village called Satnur, which is tucked inside the Mandya district, which lies between Bangalore and Mysore in southern Karnataka. It's a festival day today and the roads are pretty much empty, which is typically not the case otherwise. My host for the day is Yoganand Gauda or Yogi, who first took me to his house where he was just about to begin decorating his two oxes and prepping them up for the evening. The decoration that one does on their cattle is pretty much similar in most houses where it typically starts with cattle being given a bath and then it's usually the horns which are decorated first. People tend to apply a coat of bright paint and in this case Yogi decided to decorate his cattle with shiny gold color. And what's a festival without a bit of makeup and a coat of talcum powder to make things more attractive? At the end of the day, it's not about who decorates the cattle best, but it's on its own way of celebrating whatever little that they can. Anklets also come into the picture as a part of this whole process. This is then followed up with attaching colorful ornaments, ribbons and definitely a lot of flowers. While this is happening, on the other side of the village, Ningaya's house has a special guest, Narasimha Swami Basava, a 12-year-old wild bull which has been let free in the name of the local deity Kambada Narsimha Swami. This bull is decorated just like any other cattle in the village, but this one gets an extra special treatment. Shashi, Api and Sunil have taken up the ownership of decorating the Basava and it definitely doesn't feel as simple as it sounds. This being a wild bull, it's very aggressive and requires more hands to keep it cool while their guys are busy decorating it. In fact, there was one guy whose primary job was to keep the bull calm and composed, which he did so by scratching its body and talking to it continuously. And while this was happening, a lot of spectators just stood and watched from a distance. It finally started off with the bull being taken to the Grama Devete Marama, who is believed to be the primary protector from anything bad or evil that happens to the village. Rituals happened and of course a mandatory photo session too. Why not? Because it's a day to celebrate. And what's a celebration without some cool music? Once everything was ready, the cattle started to arrive at a common place to pay, take part in the ritual, the Kichu Hai Sodu, which is basically the cattle jumping on a burning hay which is considered very auspicious. Ladies from the village decided to sit and witness the proceedings from a vantage point. The Basava joined the other cattle as well.
It's Satish and Nasapa, two seniors from the village, who started the proceedings with sprinkling the mode anna, which was prepared as an offering for the goddess Maramma and performing the puja. Once the hay is lit with the fire, it's a green signal for everyone who is waiting to get the cattle to jump over the fire and proceed further. And after a while, the Basava crossed over the fire too. Followed by some more cattle who kind of became lazy and started walking on the sideway rather than on the fire. Buffaloes, sheeps and goats joined the party too before it got wrapped up. Villagers who couldn't get their cattle for the ritual collected the ashes so that they can take it back to their home and apply to their cattle which is considered equally auspicious. Kichu Hai Sodu got signed off with the villagers bursting a few crackers in the celebration. And in the end, as a final ceremony, the procession of Basava got taken around the main lanes of the village by Abhi, Shashi and their friends, while the bull got a final round of worshipping, puja and offerings for the day.